<gasps> Where? Oh. Son. Donatello, I have returned. And I have excellent news. General Krang has been securely delivered to Dimension X. His threat to Earth is gone. Your plan worked, my... Friend. What has happened here? The bastards killed him. They killed Donnie! My precious son. By the creator. He's not dead. Still... alive? Barely. My sensors are picking up a pulse, but it's weak and rapidly fading. Does the laboratory have a cooling unit? Um... yeah, a big walk-in one in the back. It's where Harold keeps some of the bigger servers. Good. Leonardo, gather your brothers and very carefully move Donatello there. What? What for? No time for explanations. If I'm right, we have little time. We all need to move quickly. Hold on, we're gonna freeze Donnie? What's going on, Fugitoid? What's going on is we need to slow down Donatello's cell metabolism. But that won't happen if we don't act immediately. Come on, everyone, you heard him. We gotta hurry. The unit's this way. Wait. Where are they taking Donatello? You're Harold Lilia, correct? Yeah, that's me. What are you doing? My name is Honeycut Harold, and I need your help. Now. What in blazes are you talking about? If we're going to have any chance of reviving Donatello, I require critical items from Burnout Island. I'll need you to teleport me there so I can retrieve them. Reviving Donatello? But I thought- He was dead. No. Not yet. Insanity. Sheer insanity. Still alive. Donatello, my son. It's your father. I know you still live. I've come to find you. To bring you home. I'm telling you, he ain't here. We ain't seeing Han nowhere. Yeah, and we looked everywhere. Keep searching, find him. I will need to inform the Master whether Han's been destroyed or deserted upon his return. No, Karai. You won't. What are you saying? Where is Master Shredder? It was an ambush. General Krang's forces were waiting for us when we arrived. We did our best to fight them off, but Krang used some kind of weapon against us. We tried to save the Master, but the weapon... it was too powerful. Ambushed? Yes. The turtle called Donatello betrayed our master and we... We failed to protect him. And what of General Crane? We don't know. We retreated as soon as we knew we couldn't rescue Master. And by then, Crane had already left the battle. We fled as he lay dying. We have dishonored the clan. ENOUGH! I will have no more of your damned wallowing! <laughs> Hear me now, all of you! Until proven otherwise, we must assume Master Shredder is dead. I will confer with Kitsune as she has some experience in these matters. In the meantime, we will regroup our remaining forces and decide who is worthy to remain with us. We have paid a heavy price by trusting outsiders. 
when the time has come to cull our ranks of traitors and cowards. My grandfather may be gone, but know this. The Foot Clan is not. Faster! We let the groceries inside. Just go! We don't want trouble! That's right! Run and spread the word the Purple Dragons are back! Hell yeah we are! This hood belongs to us, suckers! <laughs> ah! Yo, did you chumps get the memo? <laughs> Ain't Purple Dragons turf no more! Jones? <laughs> Means you boys are trespassing. Huh? <laughs> Malo, Chun, the hell's going on out of here? Oh, hey, Link. Ah! I was just telling your boys. Vegas ah! ah! oh! ain't welcome round here. Uh... Time for you goons to get lost. Oh, wow. You beat them all. Thanks. I'm Maroon. Casey, and uh, no biggie, dude. Just helping out a neighbor. Oh. This. This ain't done, Jones. We'll be back. Good, because I'll be here to knock the rest of your teeth out of your melon. Um, should you antagonize them like that? These jerks won't stop until someone stands up to them. They talk big, but I'll bet they think twice before messing with you again. Still, take this. Just in case I can't get here right away next time. But this is yours, I can't. Don't sweat it, man. I got plenty more where that came from. See you around, Arun. And don't forget, this is our neighborhood. Spread the word! Okay, I will. Oh, and be careful. There was another one with them. A really big, scary-looking guy. Big, scary-looking guy? Oh, hell no. How did you get in here? Better yet, how did I get here, Mother? Last thing I remember was fighting Bebop and Rocksteady in Harold's lab, and then... Oh, precocious child, always seeking impossible answers. Impossible? So, this garden isn't real? I'm dreaming? Did I say that to my son? No, not exactly. And that light? Beautiful, is it not? Yes, very. I've never seen anything like it. I know I should be freaking out right now. I mean, this just doesn't seem logical at all, but... But this all feels right somehow. Where exactly am I, Mother? Perhaps the more appropriate question would be... Where are you going? I'm having a hard time buying this, Honeycut. Frankly, the science seems far-fetched. Are you certain this works? Yes, I am. Though admittedly, I do have concerns about slapdashing the components together the way we have. But time is most definitely of the essence. Okay, let's see. Would you hand me that blue cable, please? Here. And is there anything else I can do? I feel blasted useless right now. You underestimate your value, Harold. Now and if we're successful today, later. Revitalization is only the beginning of this process. I hope you're right, Honeycut. Please be right. I'm sorry, but you'll need to move away from the table a bit. It's time. Do you think it's too late? It's been like, what, two hours now? Please, God, please. We're gonna just have to count on Future Toy's technology. I mean... We've seen him do some pretty miraculous stuff already, so maybe... Maybe nothing! You know as well as I do this ain't gonna work, Leo! I don't know anything, Raph. And neither do you. Yeah, I do! I know this is all our fault! Come on, Raph. Now's not the time to lose it. Now's exactly the time, damn it! We screwed up! All of us! Father was right! We should've taken care of Shredder first! But no! We helped that damn robot with his stupid technodrome instead! And then what happened? Crane's still alive, we don't know where the hell Shredder is, and our brother's dying, that's what! We... We should've listened to Father! We... We should've- Shut up, Raph! Just shut up! We saved the world! Donnie would be happy if he was awake! Happy we stopped the technodrome just like he wanted! 
So please just shut up! You complain and complain about what we could have done better! And you're only making it worse! Don't get too angry with him. He's just upset about your brother. We all are, Alopex. I know, Leo. Raf just tends to show it a little more... loudly than the rest of us. I'll go make sure he's okay. He's right. What? Raf's right. We may have stopped crying, but we have no clue what's up with Shredder. No matter what happens today, that's something we're gonna have to deal with. And I promise you, we will. All I can say is, if Shredder is still alive, he's gonna wish he wasn't. Ah, yes. <laughs> home sweet home. I'll drink to that. Uh, where have you taken me? Ah, there you are. That was quite the nap, Shredder. Sleeping like the dead, dare I say. You had me a bit worried there for a bit. I could kill you now, scientist. Answer my question. Disk, disk. Barely awake and already barking orders. And after I was nice enough to allow you to sleep in my own bed. Not very gracious of you, I must say. Listen, fool. I know. You listen. This is my home, and I am not one of your sniveling minions, ninja. You are only alive right now because I seek to conduct business with you. Something you seem to be in full agreement with when I was saving your skin from certain death. If I am to re-establish myself in this town, I'll require the kind of capital you have at your disposal. Combining my expertise with your wealth for fun and profit, so to speak. If, however, you've changed your mind about our partnership, then I'm sure my friends here will have no problem seeing you out. I must warn you though, this is the penthouse suite, and you won't be leaving via the elevator or the stairs. Indeed. Very well. I will discuss this partnership with you, and if it meets my satisfaction, I will provide you with all the resources you require. Money, equipment, security, but on one condition. Which is? Our first order of business is to find and destroy the rat and his infernal brood. What do you mean? Where am I going? I mean, child, it is your choice which path you next follow. Into the light or into the dark. Please, walk with me, my son. Perhaps I can help you find your way. I am coming, my son. Look at this cherry tree. Such grand splendor, and yet the beauty we are witness to is only a portion of the full wonder. We behold the sturdy trunk with its many graceful branches and their abundance of sweet-smelling blooms. But underneath it all, Invisible to our eyes are the mighty roots that are the true foundation of the beauty above. I will not give up. It is a mysterious balancing act, above and below, the seen and the unseen, just like the dark and light, one does not exist without the other. Yes, there is consolation to be found in the warm light, but there is also knowledge yet to be discovered in the uncertain dark, knowledge you seek. And you will never be alone, no matter which path you choose. Donatello? Father? Yes, my son. I am here. It is time to return home. But... Mother? Please, my son. Your family needs you.
I can't believe it. I think it's working. Where? Where am I? It is! Donatello, is that you? Of course it is, Harold, but... But why do I feel so... Weird? What have you done to me?